You know, tubers and RV fans, I just got to admit that about 12 years ago, I lost well over 150 pounds, but enough about my ex-wife. Welcome to my world tonight. Been away so lonely, hardly under the light. You take me from the kisses of lies. Come on, you tell it. Hello, Tuber and RV fans. Well, today we're going to talk about lightening the load on your RV because I'm only a few days shy of heading down to the arid zona. So, um, but before I talk about that, I um, had an interesting thing that uh, might come up with some of you RVers. Um, in the middle of the night, I had my electrical uh, breaker go that was running my radiant heat. And I'm wondering, gee, why did that blow? Because I checked my panel and it's it's not it's not blown there's nothing blown on my circuit breaker so um then i realized oh i'm sharing a outlet with my outside that has a ground fault disruptor um and that blew because we we're having this tropical pineapple express from hawaii we've had torrential rain for the last few days so um it's been quite nasty out there so it's one of my outdoor lights i think tripped so, um, yeah, so I think a lot of manufacturers, they, they cheat or to save money, they share um, a circuit with one of the outside plugs with one of your inside plugs. So if you ever have that go, that's exactly what it is. Very simple fix. Just push the button. You're, all, you're good to go. So getting back to uh, lightening the load, um, I decided quite a while ago that the way to go, while it is not sexy and for all you foodies, you'll um, turn your nose up at me, but plastic el plastico is the way to go when it comes to rv stuff because the weight of all your cooking stuff especially if you're cooking in your rv a lot if you're not cooking in here a lot you know who cares just use some paper stuff and, and just throw it to garbage as you go but um barring that plastic saves a lot of weight so um basically everything i've uh I do, with the exception of my cookware, which is actually cheap, lightweight stuff. You know, plastic plates, plastic cups, plastic measuring ware, plastic strainers, plastic bowls. You get the idea. Everything total plastic that I can get away with, just to save some weight. Now, um, I have a lot. Of, I had a lot of superfluous other crap that I didn't need. I have a massive um, flat screen, older style, in my basement that weighs probably a hundred pounds or more. I pulled that son of a bitch out of there because <laughs> I don't need it. Not for my trip. Um, same with my vacuum cleaner. I don't need that. I'm going to vacuum the, um, the cab of my coach before I leave, and the rest of the time I can get by with just using a broom. And uh, I got an old. Uh, really heavy inverter that uh, doesn't work very well anymore that's uh, another 20 pounds or more saved so I'm literally going through the coach stripping the non-essentials that um, is just wasted wasted space now um, a lot of you debate over whether to carry water not carry water of course my tanks will be empty except for my fresh I personally because when I pull into a rest area I like a full tank of water that way I don't have to think of the option of do I have enough water to cook, do I have enough water to shower, forget that. I'm, I'm loading up on that water because you know what, I just want to have that option and if I want to have several showers in a row, but that's just me. Um, for you ultra thrifty, thrifty types, you know, travel with a quarter of a tank or less and um, forego the shower I guess, but um, it's, it's just a matter of personal choice. I imagine. So I got my AAA RV towing um, plan. I just bought that today. My medical insurance bought that today. I've uh, changed my territory rating from my insurance with in Insurance Corporation of British Columbia, so I'm good to go outside of the country. So I'll be pulling off in about four, maybe five days, and um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be posting any more videos until I'm actually on the road unless I have some time. So in the meantime, stay safe. I'll see you guys on the road of life and I will talk to you soon.